teams from Hillsdale, Manchester, and Midview compete on the Nordson Academic Challenge. Hi, everybody, and welcome. Thank you for joining us as we celebrate the 54th season of the Nordson Academic Challenge. I'm your host, Rob Powers. The challenge of our show is the same as it's always been. Three local high school teams compete for points by answering questions in math, science, history, a few other topics as well. Let's hear it one more time for our three schools today. Hillsdale, Manchester, and Midfield. Every team this year will be playing for a chance to make it onto our leaderboard. And at the end of the season, the top three teams will be back to play for the championship and a $6,000 grant from Nordson. All right, so let's get everything started. We start with the lightning round. All three teams compete in this round. We award 20 points for a correct answer. We subtract 20 points for an incorrect or no answer. We'll start every team with 100 points. Everybody set? All answers here begin with the letter Y. Y. There are 1,760 of these linear units in a mile. Midview. Yards. That is correct. This tuber vegetable is similar to a sweet potato. Manchester. Yam. That is correct. This Mexican peninsula extends into Central America. Midview. Yucatan. That is correct. This is the capital city of Armenia. Answer, Yerevan. This is the term for two days before tomorrow. Manchester. Yesterday. That is correct. This is the fourth word of the Star Spangled Banner. Midview. You. That is correct. The Changjiang is another name for this longest Chinese river. Yanks Midview. Yangtze. That is correct. This decisive 1781 American Revolutionary War battle took place in Virginia, Manchester. Yorktown. That is correct. This turtle appears in the title of a Dr. Seuss book, Midview. Yertle. Of course it is. And for our final lightning round question, here's Cornelius Johnson, a research analyst at the Federal Reserve Bank of Cleveland. The Federal Reserve is headed by a board of governors, consisting of presidentially appointed economists. What woman, a former chairman of the board of governors, is now serving as the U.S. Secretary of the Treasury? Answer? Anybody? The answer here is Janet Yellen. Yellen. Good round, everybody. That's how we get it started. We'll be back with more of the Norton Academic Challenge right after this. Norton is honored to sponsor a program that celebrates academic excellence. We're a global industrial technology company with a long and proud history of giving back to the community where we live and work. We donate 5% of our U.S. pretax profits to charity every year. Over the past 30 years, the Norton Corporation Foundation has donated more than $100 million, and our employees have volunteered more than 100,000 hours. And now, we're pleased to support the legacy of Academic Challenge. Thank you all for watching, and the best of luck to all the participants. If you'd like more information about any of the schools that appear this season, scan the QR code you see on the upper right-hand corner of your screen with your cell phone. That code will take you to the News5Cleveland.com Academic Challenge page where we have links for all of this season's school websites. Time now for us to play hot picks. One at a time, I ask each team eight questions. A correct response here is worth 20 points. No penalty for a wrong answer. Any team answering all eight questions correctly will receive 25 bonus points. But before we get to the questions, let's meet our players. We start with Hillsdale. Hillsdale. Ben, you're the captain. Hi, good morning. Welcome. Great. Tell us a little bit about yourself. No, I'm Ben. I'm a sophomore at Hillsdale, and I cycle and fish. Awesome. Welcome. Hi, Allie. Hi. What do we need to know about Allie? Um, I'm Allie, I'm a senior, and when I was younger, I swallowed a battery. Okay, all right. So you're all charged up this morning. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> hey Gabe, what do we need to know about you? Hi, uh, my name is Gabe, and in school I do band, choir, and academic challenge. Awesome, welcome to all three of you. Uh, Caitlin, you are the captain of Manchester. You get the choice here. Envelope one, two, three, or four? Three. Three. All right, Hillsdale, these questions are just for you. All set? Here we go. Though best known as the sea god, Poseidon could also create what seismic disturbances on land, such as the one that devastated San Francisco in 1906. 
Just you can answer. Earthquake. That is correct. The Peanuts character Snoopy might be attracted to what Charles Darwin ship with a canine name. Beagle. That is correct. Four presidents were born in Massachusetts, but Franklin Pierce was the only president from what other New England state whose capital is Concord. Rhode Island. New Hampshire is the answer there, New Hampshire. Let's go to the monitor, here is your science question. Which of these insects is responsible for the spread of sleeping sickness in Africa? The tease fly. The tsetse fly is correct. The father of Leif Erikson, who discovered America around the year 1000, was what Norse explorer who colonized Greenland? Pass. Answer is Eric the Red. There are exactly 17 syllables in an example of what form of Japanese poetry that always has three lines? Limerick. Haiku. Haiku is the answer. Back to the monitor. Here's your math question. Evaluate this expression, giving your answer as an integer. Six hundred twenty-five is the answer. The state of Louisiana has a town named for what pirate captain who helped Andrew Jackson win the Battle of New Orleans in 1815? John Paul Jones. John Lafitte is the answer. But nice round, Hillsdale. Way to go. All righty. Our second team today comes to us from Manchester. Caitlin, you are the captain. Congratulations on that honor. What do we need to know about Caitlin? I'm Caitlin, I'm a senior, and I'm president of Band and Drama Club and plan to study chemistry in college and then attend medical school. Awesome, welcome. Hi, Braden. Hi, I'm Braden Hall. I'm a senior at Manchester High School. I am currently a member of Panther Pack, which is our peer mentoring program at the school. I am also a member of the National Honor Society and Art Club. Busy, busy, thanks for being here. Hi, Nolan. Hello, Mr. Powers. What do we need to know about Nolan? Um, you don't really need to know anything about me. I just want to shout out uh, my Nana, who's going to be watching from home, who could not be here today. So, well, look into that Nana. camera and say hello. Hi, Nana. There I'm on go. TV. There you go. For your questions, Manchester, we go to Lindsay, Captain of Midview. Lindsay, we have envelopes one, two, or four. One, please. One. All right, Manchester, these questions just for you. All set? Here we go. Any list of the world's large deserts would include the Taklamakan Desert in what most populous country in the world? China. That is correct. When the Queen of Sheba sent King Solomon a gift of gold and precious stones, the treasure was carried by what animals called the ships of the desert? Camels. That's correct. During World War I, the Germans were frequently referred to by the name of what barbaric tribe led by Attila? Answer? No. No answer. The Huns. The Huns. Let's go to the monitor. Here's your science question. Sun lamps are not made of the same glass put in ordinary windows because then they would absorb. Which of these rays that are responsible for the tanning process? Ultraviolet. That is correct. A major turning point of the American Revolution was what 1777 campaign in upstate New York that ended with the defeat of British General Burgoyne? Answer? No answer. Saratoga. Many years have passed since what year named in the title of George Orwell's novel about Big Brother? 1984. That is correct. Back to the monitor. Here's your math question. We ask you to perform the indicated operation. Forty-five. That is correct. The first official White House automobile was delivered during the administration of what 27th president, a Republican, elected in 1908? Woodrow Wilson. William Howard Taft is the answer there, but nice oh, round, there. Manchester. Way to go. <laughs> Okie doke. Last but not least, our team from Grafton Midview. We welcome all three of you. Hi, Lindsay. You're the captain. What do we need to know about Lindsay today? Hi, I'm Lindsay. I'm a senior at Midview High School. I'm involved in Tri-M, National Honor Society, and Hats for Humanity. After high school, I plan to attend Ohio University to study music education. And I would like to thank our fans, alternates, and family for their support today. Awesome. Way to go, Lindsay. Hi, Braden. 
Uh, hi, uh, my name is Braden. I am president of our school's National Honor Society. I am a senior that's also involved in track. I, uh, after high school, I plan to attend Miami University to major in zoology. And I'd like to thank the Norton Corporation for sponsoring this event. That's perfect. Great. Good for you. Hi, Charlie. Hi, I'm Charlie. I'm a junior at Midview High School. I participate in Drama Club Student Council, and I love Taylor Swift. After high school, I plan to attend a Californian university to major in musical theater or political science, and I'd like to thank News Channel 5 and its sponsors for producing this There you program. go. All right, Charlie. Hey, all nine of you, thank you so much. You're so busy. Thanks for everything you're doing. For your questions, Midview, we come down to Hillsdale. Ben, you're the captain. You have choices uh, between two and four. 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 All right, Midview, these are just for you. You all set? Just Here we go. As part of a study, scientists attached a tracker the size of a grain of rice to the back of what kind of eight-legged arachnid? Spider. That's correct. Nutritionists would not approve, but what creature, part man and part bull, demanded a steady diet of youths and maidens delivered to its labyrinth? Senator. The Minotaur. The Minotaur is the answer there. Sorry. You would expect to find people with high IQs on the Pacific Islands of Santa Isabel and Guadalcanal, which are part of a group named for what wise biblical king? Answer? No answer. The Solomon Islands. That's okay. We go to the monitor. Here is your science question. Of these three elements, which one was discovered in 1783 and was once frequently used in light bulb filaments? Tungsten. That is correct. Billing itself as the real-life Hogwarts, a college of magic, attracts students to Cape Town, which, along with Pretoria, is the capital of what country? South Africa. That is correct. In 1302, the city of Florence sentenced to eternal banishment. What poet, who later wrote about eternal life in the Divine Comedy? Dante. That is correct. Back to the monitor. Here's your math question. What is the average of these three expressions? Answer? Four. X plus six is the answer. The first president to wear contact lenses was what 36th chief executive who couldn't see any way to end the Vietnamese war? Johnson. That is correct, and that's the end of that round. Way to go, everybody. We'll be back with more academic excitement right after this. Today's judge from Cuyahoga Community College is Assistant Dean of Counseling. Let's welcome Kate Bodica. Kate, thanks so much for being here this morning. So nice to see you. All right, time to go head to head once again. This is our picture perfect round. Every correct answer here is worth 20 points, but for a wrong answer or no answer, we take away 20 points. This is for all three teams. Hands on the buzzers, eyes on the monitor down front. All set? Here we go. Sometimes called Californite, this mineral is named for what Italian volcano that destroyed ancient Pompeii? Manchester. Vesuvius. That is correct. This engraving shows 17th century scientist Torricelli experimenting with what device he invented for measuring air pressure? Manchester. Barometer. That is correct. This 19th century painting depicts a group of people talking with what Crimean War nurse, the founder of modern nursing? Manchester. Nightingale. Florence Nightingale is correct. Evaluate this expression, giving your answer as an integer. Midview. 567,000. That is correct. This is the flag of what large African nation whose major cities include Lagos and the capital Abuja? Midview. Nigeria. That is correct. What author made this keen observation in his book, The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy? Hillsdale. Douglas Adams. That is correct. This valley is named for what French explorer who discovered and named the lake on the Vermont New York border? Answer Champlain. Champlain. This festive edition of Cleveland Magazine shows us how to embrace winter. We can start by hoping temperatures don't reach absolute zero. On which scale? Manchester. Kelvin. Kelvin is correct, and that's the end of that round. Way to go. Way to go. 
Don't go anywhere. We've still got our grab bag round to determine today's winner. That's coming up, though, after we mix it up. Okay, welcome back. Our, our team advisors today, let's say hello to Dr. Tom Savage from Billsdale. Here's Lisa Barnes, Prince from Manchester. And joining us from Midview is Mike Filippiak. Hey, thanks everybody this morning for being here. Hope you're having a great time this morning. Time now to mix it up. One at a time, I ask each team six questions. A correct response here is worth 20 points. No penalty here for a wrong answer. Any team answering all six questions correctly will receive 25 bonus points. Hillsdale, you're up first. All set? Here we go. Forget about a menu and find hidden within this phrase what pollen-producing part of a flower. Answer? Pass. Stamen. Stamen is the answer. A person who is cantankerous can best be described by which of these adjectives? Answer? Uh, stingy. Disagreeable. This, we're looking at down here. Uh, you'd look in this volume of an old encyclopedia for information on what Virginian, who was the fourth Chief Justice of the United States. More? John Marshall. Marshall is the answer there. You won't have to blame anyone if you unscramble this anagram to name what opening paragraph of the Constitution. Preamble. Preamble is correct. Which of these words is a palindrome? Deed. That is correct. To complete this quote from Mark Twain, who was born in 1835, add what comet that reappeared in 1910, the same year Twain died? Haley's. That is correct. Way to go, Hillsdale. There you go. All righty. Now it's you, Manchester. All set? Here we go. You won't need electronics if you can find hidden in this phrase the name of what metallic element whose atomic number is 28? Nickel. Nickel is correct. Which of these words would best describe someone who is very stubborn? Boisterous. Intransigent is what we're going for there. This volume of an old encyclopedia would have a listing for what American known as the Little Giant who held a series of historic debates with Abraham Lincoln? Douglas. Douglas is correct. You can ace this question if you rearrange the letters to name what type of triangle whose sides and angles are not equal. Scaling. That is correct. On a weather map, there are lines with which of these names to indicate area of equal atmospheric pressure? Answer? Yeah. Isopar. Isobar is correct. In a poem about other poets, William Butler Yeats wrote this line, which you can complete by adding what insects that cause dogs to scratch? Fleas. Fleas is correct. Way to go, Manchester. Nice round. There you go. Okay, Midview, you're up. All set? These are just for you. Here we go. Hidden here is the last name of what man, the Austrian monk, who founded the science of genetics? Mendel. That is correct. If people complain that you were obstreperous, they would be saying that you were which of these? Dishonest. Unruly. Unruly. This volume of an old encyclopedia would have information about what 1968 Vietnam War offensive named for a Vietnamese holiday. Answer? Tet. That is correct. You can earn a, earn a sum of 20 points if you rearrange these letters to name the medieval political ism associated with serfs, vassals, and fiefs. Feudalism? That is correct. Of these three islands associated with Napoleon, which was the one on which he died in 1821? Corsica. St. Helena. St. Helena. To complete this line by Charles Lamb, add the name of what nicotine-laced plant that John Rolfe taught the English to grow? Tobacco. Tobacco is correct, and that's the end of that round. Hold on. We'll be back with our final and deciding grab bag round coming up right after this.
All right, let's dive back in. It's time for the grab bag round. In this free-for-all, each correct answer is worth 30 points, but a team will lose 30 points for a wrong or no answer. Again, this is for all three teams. Hands on the buzzer, eyes on the monitor when we need it. All set? Here we go. It was almost a century after the French Revolution before France adopted July 14th as its national holiday to honor the storming of what prison? Midview. Bastille. That is correct. Many bodies of water have arms, but a group of New York lakes, including Seneca and Cayuga, are named for what part of the hand? Midview. Falls. Finger Lakes. Finger Lakes. In the early 1840s, abolitionists were supported by what New York governor, who would later serve as Lincoln's Secretary of State? Manchester. Stewart. That is correct. Cranes such as these were mentioned in the writings of what Greek philosopher? Manchester. That's our final buzzer. We got to stop it right there. We stop the game. We go to the scores, and here we go. In third place today with 420 points, I'm sorry, third place with 240 points is Hillsdale. In second place with 420 points is Grafton Midview. And the winner of today's academic challenge with 470 points, Manchester. Hey, congratulations. Good game. Be sure to join us next time. We'll feature teams from Independence, Mapleton, and St. John. Thanks for being along for this one. I'm Rob Powers. See you right back here next week.